In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of named clipboards. A named clipboard is a selection of activities that you can save as a block to a separate file, and you can actually call it up from any other study that you're working on as well and integrate back all of the features of that particular block into your additional studies. So, for instance, in this example here, if I go to the bill of material, you can see here I have a a number of activities that have materials associated with them. You see the activities just by hovering over it. So this particular replenish item has got five different items in it there. And the range stack has four, four screws, one item and four screws right there. So if I put this back to my default uh, view, I can actually grab this data uh, as a block by pointing at it. Control click on the first activity, control click on the last activity. So I've just created a block of data. Now, right after I've done this, I have to hit the right mouse button and I can access my block options. So you can copy the block, you can cut the block, and that's obviously useful if you want to work within this one particular uh, uh, process you're working with here, or study. Uh, but here we want to actually extract this so we can use it in other places. So we can save the block to a named clipboard. So we click on this. And there's going to be a folder out here called Under Applied Computer Services. That's the name of our company called Clipboards. Now you can create your own structure anywhere you want, but uh, we're going to look in Clipboards by default. And of course, then you could build the folder structure off of that. So it'd be very easy for you to build a structure for your own personal use. So let's just call these, let's say this is going to be my support activities. So I give it a name, I click on the save, and this is going to save the information, all the information associated with those three items to the name clipboard. Now you can see our name clipboard works here. If I can just move across, uh, I could obviously just do a paste if I wanted to, if I did the copy uh, or, the, or the cut, but I, here I can hit the right button and you can see here, here's a name clipboard option, right? So that gives me an option of adding the name clipboard to the top of a stack or if I point within a stack, I hit the right button. Again, you'll find name clipboard right here. So if I just show you within the current process, we can call up existing name clipboards, hit the right button at the, above a particular stack, say, show me the name clipboards, and it will show you the, all the ones you have. And if there's a structure you built, you'll see the structure here. So here's my support activities. It actually gives me a preview of this. You can see in the background, I'm going to actually add those uh, right onto this one right here. So here's a preview. It's telling me what's in there. And you can see those are those three activities, the arrange, the clean, and the replenish. The arrange, the clean, and the replenish. And all I do then is say I want to use it. And it pastes them right in there for me. Right? Now if I pick up uh, inside a particular stack, let's say I'm going to put it right in here between the get pin and the insert spacer. I would say I would hit, hit the right mouse button on the insert spacer. I'm going to go to my name clipboards here. I've only got one to pick, but of course you can have many number uh, name clipboards here. You click on this, gives you a preview, click on the use, and it inserts them right in there between the get pin and the insert spacer. Now, obviously, the big advantage here, the big opportunity here, is if you have a completely different study altogether. So let me bring up another one, and I'm just going to bring up one that we give you. So I go to my open balance here, I'm going to go to my documents for applied computer services. We give you some samples here. So here's an eight man crew. This one doesn't have any videos attached to it, but I may want to bring in that name clipboard. Let's say I want to bring in the name clipboard right in here uh, before the install rear overhead. I hit the right button and then I can go to my name clipboards like before. Here's my name clipboard. It gives me a preview of what it looks like here. I click on the use, it inserts them right in here. So you can see it's preserving the colors. And in fact, if I go to my bill of materials here, you can see it's actually brought over the bill of materials. So there's the same five items that are associated with that one and the same items associated here. So it's a really powerful feature for copying blocks of data between studies. And you can create your own library, of course, here. That's what we're aiming to get to. You create your own library of name clipboards. I hit the right button. You can have any number of uh, folders and structures to store all your data in here. Uh, the, the use of it is very simple. You just click on it. You click on it. You tell it to use it, it'll insert it wherever you were. If you want to delete it, you just click on the highlight it, it'll show it to you, and click the delete. It'll ask you to confirm that you want to delete it. Click on that, and it'll be gone, and you can start again. So you can easily maintain these libraries of your own personal name clipboards that you can use to put into your processes.